Hello everyone, now we're going to talk about probably the most important topic in game theory, which is best response. So let's start with a definition. So suppose that player I has a belief, so we're defining it for any player I. Uh, so it has, he has a belief, let's denote it by sigma sub minus I, about the strategies played by the other players. So player I's strategy SI is called best response or sometimes best reply. Uh, some textbooks, uh, you know, use uh, best reply. I usually call it best response. If this inequality holds for every SI prime. All right, be careful. So what is this inequality? This inequality says the payoff of player I when he plays SI has to be greater than or equal to his payoff if he plays SI prime. So I compare two payoffs. Uh, what is fixed? Sigma minus I is fixed and it, it, it's not varying, remember? So this entire definition depends on sigma minus I. So it's fixed. In, in the definition of dominance, for example, it wasn't fixed. So in that definition, SI was fixed. So here, fixing the other player's strategies or the belief about the other player's strategies, uh, playing SI is the best response if it basically gives you the highest utility. That's it. Highest utility among all the other strategies that you have. All right. So basically, SI uh, solves this maximization problem. Maximize utility SI uh, uh, sigma minus I, okay? By choosing SI in SI, all right? Um, well, if sigma minus I is the belief of player I about the other player's strategy, well, we call this set as the set of best response strategies of player i, best response to sigma minus i, obviously, because if you change player i's belief, or if you change this sigma minus i, clearly this set, this set may change. So therefore, it's very important, this entire definition relies on sigma minus i. So therefore, this set should also rely on sigma minus i. Uh, well, this is sometimes a function, meaning there's only one best response function, uh, I'm sorry, best response strategy, but sometimes uh, this set may, may include more than one strategy, meaning there might be two or more strategies that are best response to sigma minus i. How is this possible? Well, if there are two, for example, best response strategies, these two strategies must yield exactly the same payoff for player i because otherwise this cannot hold for every SI prime, all right? So more formally, we write this best response, uh, sometimes we call this best response correspondence as follows. Uh, I'm just going to uh, sort of embed this inequality into my set description, all right? So it's SI in element of set of strategies for player I such that utility of SI sigma minus I greater than or equal to utility of SI prime sigma minus I for all SI prime in SI, okay? So once again, this set may include more than one element. And if there are two elements, for example, uh, these two elements must be yielding exactly the same payoff because otherwise if one is great giving higher payoff than the other well then there's no way you can say this is true for both of those uh, strategies so be careful about this okay so that's what uh, best response is let's give some uh, numerical examples to understand hopefully better about this concept um, but by the way be careful about this definition. I mean, it may sound simple, um, but trust me, I mean, you learn it, really learn it by making, uh, solving more and more examples. So here is the very simplest uh, example you may think of. So uh, sometimes we call this battle of the sexes game. So uh, B-O-B-O, -O, let's say, 
Um, so two one zero 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 one two. Okay. So in this case, let's calculate the best response function for first player when the second player. So I'm going to denote it sigma two is B. So it's a pure strategy, but anyway, I can denote it by uh, sigma two. Uh, what about his best response if his opponent is playing O? And what if? What about his best response if his opponent is playing, for example, uh, well, one half is, I don't know. Let's make it one third. One over three B and um, three over, uh, two over three, I'm sorry. Two over three O. Oh. All right. So the sig this is sigma two, which is a mixed strategy. All right. So the first two is relatively straightforward, right? If the sigma two, I mean, if the second player is playing B, that means this part of the table is out of question. And so player one, if he plays B, he's going to get two. If he plays O, he's going to get zero. Um, and well, by the way, let's make it BS, BS, because O's and zeros will uh, get confused probably. So this is S. So the S is out of question. And so here, the payoff maximizing strategy for player one is clearly B because it gives two payoff, but on the other hand, S gives zero payoff. So therefore it's uh, B. So what does that mean? That means player one's best response strategy for player two playing B, uh, the pure action, the pure strategy is playing B, right? Which makes sense. If my opponent is playing B for sure, uh, well, playing B is best response for me because two is better than zero. Well, what if my opponent is playing S for sure? Well, in that case, zero versus one. And so S is the best response. Clear? All right. What if my opponent is mixed? I sort of, I believe that my opponent is going to play B with one third S two third probability. So what should I play? Should I play mixed strategy, pure strategy? What is my best response? So how do we do this? So, well, this is a bit more complicated, but this is how we approach to this. Well, what is the utility of player one if he plays um, B, given that his opponent is playing sigma two? So I'm not going to write rewrite this sigma two. And then what is his payoff if he plays S and his opponent is playing this mixed strategy? So these are expected payoffs. Be careful, right? Because these this is a... Uh, uh, probability uh, of B and S. So that means, for example, if player one plays B, he's going to get two with probability one third and zero with probability two third. So therefore, in expectation, playing B for sure is going to lead to two times one over three plus zero times two over three. So it's basically two over three. However, if he plays S, he's going to get zero times one over three probability and one times two over three probability. So it's another two over three. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay. Well, this is uh, harder than I uh, expected. Okay. So what does that mean? That means, hmm. Um, well, that means what? Playing B and S will give exactly, will yield exactly the same payoff for player two. So what, it, well, but by the way, I mean, don't forget, this guy has only two uh, strategies. So therefore I can say B is a best response to sigma two, but also S is a best response to sigma two. But is that it? I mean, remember here, suppose player I has a belief, da, 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 uh, player I strategy is the best response. So here, the best response are about pure strategy. So a pure strategy is the best response if this is the true. So therefore, we can say, if we look at only pure strategies, both B and S are uh, best response to sigma two. All right, so that's sort of one example where uh, the best response uh, set may include more than two uh, uh, elements. Here, be careful, uh, we define those best response sets for pure strategies. Uh, we can define those best response sets for mixed strategies as well. 
in which case this best response, I mean, best response one, I mean, these two sets would be exactly the same, but this one would be different if we include this, I mean, if we make this definition for any pure or mixed strategies. But again, let's keep things simpler for now and let's focus on pure strategy best responses. In this case, you know, any strategy player one has is the best response to one third, two third probabilities. Okay, maybe one more exercise. Um, you can leave, I mean, you can do it later uh, in detail. So let's suppose best response of the first guy. Well, you can do all these exercises from the point of view of the second player, obviously. Uh, one over five B and, you know, four over five S. Well, in this case, once again, so let's call this sigma two prime, we have to calculate the expected payoffs. If you calculate the expected payoffs, this is one over five, this is four over five. So the expected payoff of is, is this, this is two over five, and expected payoff here is four over five. And clearly four over five is higher than two over five, which means therefore the best response in this case is S. All right, so B is not a best response because it yields a lower payoff. Okay, so I think you got the idea, but that's it for the best response.